Lesson 76, Part 11, we're looking at the jewel in the crown of Hogan's book. Uh, the book's about 130 pages long. We're on page 78. And the drawing I'm showing you here that Anthony Ravelli has done shows Mr. Hogan with a driver and a massive pane of glass resting on the ball target line and on his shoulders. There's a hole with his head sticking through. The point about this is that that pane of glass is resting on his shoulders. And the pane of glass, it really explains to us the swing plane. The shaft of the golf club is an entirely different plane. Shaft plane is a categorical nonsense. I only teach shaft plane if you want to hit it with the shaft. The shaft of the club has no bearing with the swing plane. When Mr. Hogan goes to the top of the swing, that club will be in the pane of glass. It will not be in the plane it was at address. So it's critical. Now, why would Mr. Hogan, on the very next page, go to the trouble of doing two further little drawings? Well, there's the answer. The sheet of glass here was resting on the shoulders. This drawing here shows the dotted line from the sweet spot of the driver below his shoulder through his upper sternum. So that's the hub of the golfing wheel for all human beings. If I turn to you, and my body's an axle and my arms are spokes, I think you can see that I'm a wheel. So Simon, if you put me in a graphic line through my body, that's the axle, and then the spokes, and hopefully I can turn on that axis and my arms stay in plane. So that's where the swing plane is. This is the hub. So, when I lean forward and build the grip, you can imagine the pane of glass running from the ball, resting on my shoulders. But Mr. Hogan says that the true plane is through the top of the sternum. It's two or three inches flatter. So this would be the pane of glass, and this would be perfect plane. It's about three or four inches difference. The good news is, if your sediment grip are good and we go back to the left shoulder, the swing plane is absolutely on the money. That's flat, that's upright. So the sheet of glass doesn't rest on the shoulders of the sweet spot, it goes from here. I think you can see, if it goes from here, it's a bit lower than if it went from the top of the shoulder line. Let's uh, just watch that. So what I'd like you to do, Simon, for the viewers, is if you can, put a line from the ball through my sternum, that diagonal line, and if you can, trace the journey of the butt of the club, because as the swing goes on, the butt of the club rises into the plane. We'll see the club head describing an arc, and we'll see the butt of the club rising to that arc, and then coming through. So let's just do that in ultra slow motion. Left shoulder under the throat. As the shoulder coils, the butt of the club rises. Now I'm in plane. If I show you sideways on, the butt of the club is below the plane. As I load the shoulder, the butt of the club rises. Can you see that? I know that you can. Left shoulder, there's the plane. The club drops and rolls and rises. So there's a huge amount of variety. You know, if I was playing tennis, what am I going to look at? The ball or the racket head? The last thing I'm going to be looking at and worrying about is the handle. So all this nonsense about shallowing the shaft and all that, it's not a good reference point. If you want to shallow the shaft, start the ball at one o'clock with no divot. All right, slow motion. Left shoulder to the throat, creating the power. The butt of the club is rising to the plane. If I stand up, you can see it. The club is now in the plane. Go back to my posture. I can now go through. All I had to do was make the horizontal plane and incline from the hip. So the shaft plane described at address. Simon, give me a graphic line through the shaft after here. I'd pay good money to see somebody live on the shaft plane. That's what it would look like. It's a nonsense. Okay, it's a disaster to think that that's the swing plane. The swing plane is here but the club rises to it. Okay, no pause this time. Load the shoulder and go. Okay, so we don't want to be a pain in the ass. We want to be playing the glass. <laughs> 